All right, YouTube, tonight we're going to play some Amulet Titan. It's my first time playing the deck. I just took this from a file. I don't know anything about this deck. It just seems like a lot of fun. I don't know why Moto says I have 19 sideboard cards. That is often a thing that Moto does. You just close it out, now we have 15. But deck list is in the description, so let's just give this a whirl here. Feel free to, to toss me some help, anybody. Because I have never played this... I played this deck. I played this deck a couple times when it had Summer Bloom in it. Back, but that was easy mode. I'm excited for this. That sucks going 3-0 into 3-2. All right, I'm gonna grab another beer. I'll be right. Uh, the, yeah, I like most of my sideboard cards, so I don't really want to just change one more, you know what I mean? I might as well put the deck list up here while we're waiting. So Johnny's going to just absolutely just, uh, if, like, I'm assuming this deck is decent as long as you're not playing its Blood Moon, that's what I hear. But this should be fun. This should be a lot of fun. I'm excited for this. There's no... There is a Reclamation Sage. Okay. Exactly. And, and, like, the problem with Leyline is you need, like, three or four of them. And I've only got room for, like, one or two spots. All right. So I think this is a... Oh, no. I'm playing against Johnny, the guy that I just traded the EE to. Um, I gotta keep my hand. At least he mulliganed. He's playing Blue Moon, too, so, like, this is probably just, like, an absolutely terrible matchup. He probably molded Blood Moon. Yeah, what are the odds? He probably mulliganed to Blood Moon, too. That little piece of shit. So I don't have double blue, which means it's going to be hard to... It's going to be hard to, whatever it is, um, transmute this Teleria West. Well, he's got Emrakul, also. All right. So that doesn't actually do anything, right? So if I go land, amulet, if I go amulet, plague rule turf, I don't do anything. So I'm probably actually just going to play the Teleria West. There's no need to play in my bounce lands. And then I'm just going to cast the Azusa. Azusa says I can play two additional lands on my turns. And then I'll pick up this Teleria West probably. Okay, Simic Growth Chamber. So, oh my god. Growth Chamber, untap Growth Chamber. Tap this. Bring this back to my hand. Play Azusa. Play Gemstone Mine. Play Gruel Turf. I think that's our plan here. I have to stack these, right, don't I? Always yield. No, I shouldn't always yield. Stop yielding. Return this land.
keep this blue mana. Okay, here we go. So I'm sure there's a way for me to... I can play two more lands, two additional lands. So let's play this. Okay, so now he's going to kill my... Snap bolt. I guess I could have gone played gemstone mine, then done this. Yeah, I should have gone gemstone mine, then done this, and then done it. Yeah, that was a mistake. So this I will Okay, return this forest to my hand. And then pass. And then next turn we'll cast Titan. And then if he doesn't have a Cryptic Command, I can at least play Titan, and then I can attack with Titan. So yield the Amulet, return this. So now I just go get Sun Home and Slayer Stronghold. Or not Sun Home. The Slayer's the red white one and the one that gives my Titan haste. Then I can give a double strike. And we'll, we'll, we'll be in there. I could have played the Azusa land, which would frustrate me. I could have gotten one more land out of the Azusa. I don't really know what he's thinking about. This is a pretty straightforward. You have to counter this. What are you what are you tanking about here? This is a must counter, Johnny. Okay, so we had an op. Put it on the bottom. Oh, yeah. So now we go get... Slayer Stronghold. Boros Garrison. Okay, we'll return... So let's just give this... We'll return the Slayer Stronghold to my hand, so... Turn this, attack, then we get. So I can't actually kill him because I can't kill him because of um because I can't give it double strike, right? Because the Sun Home Fortress target creature gains double strike, it's four mana. So then how do I, I might as well try to set up here. So I get growth chamber, one, two, three, four, five. I should probably just try to actually not get a bounce, one, two, three, four. So I'm definitely going to get a uh, colony garden in order to fight against an Emrakul attack. So let's go get colony garden. And... A Bajoku bog to bog him. I guess bog him doesn't really matter. Might as well get Colony Garden and Simic Growth Chamber to just have more mana. Because Colony Garden's gonna have one, two, three, four. So I'm gonna have enough permanents to even survive past a Emrakul attack, which is just what I want to be able to do. So let's get. Growth Chamber Colony Garden. And then I will return the Colony Garden to my hand. And then we'll attack in here. Eight, 
And now we still beat Annihilator 6. We keep our Titan around. So he needs... He basically would need... Um, he needs double through the breach in order to get me. So there's the Emrakul. We're going to block the Snapcaster Mage. He can't. So we're gonna we're gonna hope that this thing gets us the whole way, but we're dead to a lightning bolt. We're dead to a lot of stuff after this Ember Cool gets in here. If I got a non bounce land then I might have been able to... Oh, Explore is a good draw, but it doesn't really do a lot. So let's just get in here with the Titan. Um, I guess I might as well just get Growth Chamber. He's got cryptic and everything, so I might as well just go get. I should have played my colony garden first, so that I could have a Suva at. That sucks. Uh, I'll just get another four. I don't know what to do. It. I'm just gonna get a forest and a growth chamber just to play around. We'll bounce this back. Take six. Play the colony garden because the colony garden lets me block this. Thing at least, and I'll ditch. Oh, that was that was so bad doing it like that. Radiant Fountain. Yep, that would have been right. Jake M Twitch. Radiant Fountain would have been the play. No way. Oh, the fact that he's taking this long means he's dead. It means he definitely doesn't have it. Yeah. He was just trying to get me. Yeah, you're right there, James Switch. This is the first time I've played this deck. So I'm not super sure about it. So I'm sure this card's good. Reclamation Sage is probably good against the Blood Moon deck. Spell Pierces are probably fine. This card seems like it's more for dedicated combo decks, not really control decks. Um... This Allosaurus, the Allosaur and the Ballista don't seem great. The Engineer Explosives can kill uh, whatever it is, Blood Moon, if that's the plan. Uh, Tribe Scout is probably not that great because he's going to have a lot of bolts. I don't know if you can sideboard out lands. Like, do I need all four Azuzas? Probably not. Do I need all four Primeval Titans? Probably not. I don't know. Um, Stirrings is good, Pack, Gemstone. I probably don't need my Ghost Quarter. I don't, I think I can Shave Lands. Then one more card to bring out. I guess Engineer Exploring, eating a Blood Moon seems kind of like Magical Christmas Land. But that's like one of the only ways I have to actually deal with it. Where you sign out Tribe Scouts? Okay, thanks, Jake. Jake, I usually play like I usually play Death Shadow decks, but I wanted to do something fun tonight, so I decided to uh, get lit. Plus, I like this deck a lot. This deck is very cool. This is probably a heater, right? We have a way to deal with Rex Sage. It's kind of awkward that we drew these, right? Like, you don't ever want to draw these cards. Or we can deal with Blood Moon. I kind of want a mulligan, because you don't ever actually want to draw these cards, right? And we have, like, a really slow Titan. Like, is it just me, or does his hand kind of suck?
Yeah, I think I'm going to mulligan. His hand seems better. Maybe. Yeah, I'm going to keep this one. Summer's packed. Yeah, we're probably going to want that. It's certainly iffy. Like, it had, it had Forest plus Reclamation Sage, and then all the rest of the cards kind of sucked. And then we're just, we're just, like, super cold to Blood Moon. But that's just kind of the cost of doing business. I was listening to Edgar Magal, Magal Hayes, something like that, on the First Strike podcast. And he pretty much said, like, he's like, he thinks he this deck's actually advantage against basically every deck that's not playing Blood Moon or doesn't play, like, an extreme clock with Disruption. And this deck has Blood Moon in it and has Disruption. So it can't, it can't, this matchup certainly can't be that good. I'm going to top top. So... is just would be nice to hit an amulet there doesn't have it gas Okay. Should have played mine to explore. Can you tell me why? I, I, I genuinely don't know. All right, so we're not dead to Blood Moon anymore. Which is a good feeling. So here's something where I can like, ooh, okay. So now if I play this amulet, can I just tighten him if he has nothing, which seems kind of low. Amulet, explore. I could go get an Azusa, then I lose to a Blood Moon. So let's just cast this first. I mean, I guess actually, let's try... I probably want the Amulet to resolve more than the Explorer. So let's try the Explorer first. Remand. Okay, so now let's play this turf, pick this up, and we play our land, so we're good. Then we're just dead, too, if he has it. We can't even deal with the pact, I guess. So I should have bounced the other land. Yeah, I punted. Um, that's not too bad, because I can go get Reclamation Sage. Azusa is also pretty good. Right, because I can go Azusa, play all my lands. Next turn... Packed. Yeah, so let's go Azusa. Play out all these lands. Play my amulet.
All right. All right, head the ball. Damage is kind of done now. And I can actually pay for a pack now. I can't play for pack from negation and this pack. If he, he could just kill me here, but like. Yeah. Well, one, two, pay for packs. Two, four, six. I need nine. Two, four, six, seven, eight. I need nine mana, right? So I need green, 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 green. Yeah, so I actually just pack this too. And still pay for everything. So let's go like this. Get another amulet. Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. And then I can't get. I'm not going to be able to play my Titan next turn. We're just going to pay for all our packs and then be done. Hopefully, it doesn't moon us or bounce one of my lands like a Cryptic Command. All right, so I have to figure out how to pay these. On Moto. So pay for this one. I don't know. Control Z. Pay for this one. And okay. Pay for this one. Oh, nice. Because I'm going to always yield this. And then if Titan resolves, we should be we're gonna be able to double strike it too. And then we're gonna be able to pick up all our stuff. Wow, this deck is sweet. Yes. Okay, so... Oh, I should have played this land. That was a mistake. So let's get Slayer's Stronghold and Vesuva. Uh, Vesuva copies Boros Garrison. Always yield. Always yield. I will return this Teleria West to my hand. I should have tapped it. This is like these little sequencing things that I don't necessarily get with the deck yet. So now I think I just go get a Simic Growth Chamber. And let's get Simic Growth Chamber and then Sun Home. I'm 
I'm going to bounce my Vesuva. Just be able to copy the land. Then I can actually copy my, because I haven't made a land drop, I can copy my um, Simic Growth Chamber and then transmute this Teleria West and you'll get another Titan. Oh, this deck is sweet. Okay, so it's general always to click on the bounce line trigger first, then on the ambulance trigger. So you're talking about growth chamber above. Okay. So I think I just want to bounce my Vesuva again. Oh shoot. Oh no. See that that's why they do that. That's what you're talking about, AR7. Is that part of the reason why? Because that just bounced before I could untap it, also. Yeah. Oh man, we beat a Blood Moon deck. We beat a Blood Moon deck. You untap everything first, then bounce. Okay. So that means first in, last out. So then I put the return in under the amulet. Okay. Oh, that was awesome. That was so awesome. I think Moto is still bugged with two amulets. But, well, I'm not that lucky to get two in play. AR171. Doesn't let you order the amulet triggers. Okay. Yeah, this is my, like I said, this is my first time playing this deck, so I'm not even that super into it. You know what I mean? I don't know all the, the nuances of the deck. Oh, that was so good. I beat my friend. Oh, it's so much great bragging rights. Dude, get some, Johnny. Yeah. Oh, that was so good. This deck does seem like a lot of fun to play. Okay, so... Stirrings on one, explore on two. Right, you can keep slow hands like this. Oh, Johnny. Johnny, get the salt mine out of here, buddy. This is kind of, this is on slow mode. I'm going to go check on my puppy. He's been a little sick lately. I'll be right back. Hey bud, you want some water buddy? Okay, good boy. Okay. So forest, ancient stirrings. Um, well, that kind of sucks. I guess I'll just take the colony garden. <clears throat> and then I'd probably play the sun home next turn, right? Windswept teeth. Well, now I want to... Stirrings to find an amulet. Tolaria West. Simic Growth Chamber. Walking Ballista. Um, I should take the Growth Chamber. One, two, three, four. Always yield. And then pass.
the next turn, play... Ooh, we're playing against like a Naya deck. I feel like this would be a good matchup. I don't think the Naya deck's going to be able to really interact with what I'm doing here. Or one land. Jeez. They didn't mold a five, I guess. Okay. I need to do as many lands and don't create a trigger as possible. So I actually go 1, 2, play Explore, play Colony Garden. Next turn, Transmute for a Primeval Titan, or Pack for a Titan. Probably bolts this. Path, okay. Sweet. We'll take more lands. This takes a lot of fun. Look at this. I have so many lands. <laughs> I Westville Abbey. I don't know what's going on over there. Oh man, what a riot this deck is. I'm having a lot of fun playing this. Values Lieutenant. All right, so now we're just pacting for a Titan. Okay, we're not going to pack for a Titan. So we're just going to cast one. And I think I'm just going to get Vesuva. No, I'm going to get uh, Boros Garrison Slayer Stronghold. Return my Colony Garden. Play my Colony Garden. So let's get... Now get, uh, where is it, Boros Garrison, Slayer's Stronghold, Return, this Colony Garden, and then I'll give my other Titan Haste. Oh, I should have replayed the land there. I was didn't think about it. Oh, this is so much fun to play. I'm having so much fun. I don't know how actually good this deck is, but it's a lot of fun. How much lands do I have? I have two. One, two. Yeah, they're just going to scoop it up. Okay, so again, so like a Thalia's Lieutenant deck. I'm assuming I want my Abrade, Dismember. I'm sure I want these. These. I want these cards right here. Um, against Bolt decks, Shave. Uh, I'm going to take out my Packs and my, my Tribe Scouts, I think. Yeah, I get my cards from Card Hoarder. I'm a part of the Card Hoarder network.
Do I have to cut them all, or can I keep... I probably can, like, keep one in and cut, like, a Bajoku bog. Hornet Queen's gas. God, dude, it's your night, Johnny. Hornet Queen seems great. The Bayloths also probably are pretty good. So let me think here. Let's probably all these come out. Um... On Home Fortress, Slayer's Stronghold, Radiant Fountain Forest, Oral's Garrison. You got two cards. I don't really know what else I should cut. Azusa seems kind of weak. Cut a cavern. Oh, that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. All right, here we go. Turn one amulet. Oh man, I'm so I'm having so much fun playing this deck. Okay, champion. So I think it's still better for me to just play my amulet. I doubt I'm going to engineer explosives for one. I'll probably be able to abrade this thing next turn. Like, this, sh I should be all right here. I don't think this is going to punish me too much. I don't really have a good way to, like, develop my lands, though. I have a lot of Bayloths. Oh, okay. So now we're going to EE for one. I'm probably just going to honestly play the EE, play the Growth Chamber, and then blow these up. They only have one land. Is that real? Trees. That's tough. Another amulet. That's so sweet. All right, so let's put one counter on it. Put the engineered explosives on it. Okay, so I want to put the untap underneath the bounce. No. I want to do it the other way. I want to return a land after they untap. So let's go like that. So I want to put the land underneath the amulet. And then I'll pass. I'm actually just going to take a shot from these and do it at the end of their turn. Because I don't want them to uh, I don't want them to like play another champion of the parish. Play a Thraven Inspector into it. Okay. So now we'll blow it up before combat. We don't get the clue because the clue costs zero. And then we'll just play another Gemstone Mine and probably just use the Amulet to play the play this because I'm not doing anything with the mana. And I want to keep all the counters on this thing just in case. So then we'll slam the Bayloth next turn, play the Growth Chamber, pick up the Gemstone Mine. Okay, so it's like a soul. Okay. All right, I see what's going on here. All right, that's pretty good. Probably can help me out next turn. Or, no, I'm actually just going to play that next turn. Now we got a 4 4 beater, and I can just abrade and play another 4 4 beater next turn. I gave my opponent a life. What a good guy I am. What a guy I am. <clears throat> All 
All right, so they hit. So we know they have five spells, so we're going to have to get a move on it. But we are going to have a pair of four fours coming at them. Oh, I wish you weren't just a constant salt mine, Johnny. You know? You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? Someone is just salty that they lost a good matchup. It happens to the best of us. So this is a Norin deck. This is the uh, the one that phases in it, or blinks itself every time you cast something. All right, yes. Let's get a land. Oh, nice. Comes in to play untapped because of Amulet. That's cool. I'm just going to upbraid this thing. I could save it. I actually, I think I'm going to save it for a Souls Ascender, Sarah Ascender, or whatever it is. Okay, now I'm going to kill one. Okay, so click on this first. Always yield. Okay, nice. That's how that's done. Okay. <clears throat> I'm definitely going to need like a pact or something. Like a primeval titan will put this game away. But I am just kind of like dirtling, spinning my wheels a little bit. I mean, my opponent's not doing anything either. So I, I have the benefit of the doubt there. Okay, there's a champion. Right. So I think there's probably value to having some bounce lands in my hand. So I'm going to leave this Gruel Turf. And though we're at the point where if I just start playing Primeval Titans, it's not going to matter. So click on this first. Oh, return a land. So that's the wrong way. You have to click on the land first, and then the amulet goes underneath it. <clears throat> I appreciate everybody for showing up and hanging out tonight. This has been this has been fun. Played a league with Death Shadow first. And now we're gonna play Amulet. I'm either gonna play a league with um, Storm next, or a league with uh, um, Blood Moon. Blood Moon. Blood Moon. What a jerk. We're still winning this race, so like. I have plenty of basics, so I can just like march my way up to Primeval Titan. That Blood Moon, like, actually like cuts me off for me. It's like, it's like a double stone rains me, also. Oh man, I can't have a way to produce white mana. If I did, that would be sweet, because then I could just like give my guy double strike. And Vesuva enters. It's a non-basic, so Vesuva. I don't think I can copy their planes with my Vesuva. I'm not exactly sure how the how the rules work on that. Nice thing now is that I can actually uh I can actually pack. So pack's a live draw. Blood Moon's not really a lot. I mean, no, not Blood Moon. Um, explosives is can at least kill the Sarah Ascendants. 
Oh, Ranger. Okay, so this game's kind of getting away from me now after starting out so well. Because now they can deal with my... Uh, now they can deal with my obstinate bay lots. I just don't have anything going on. That's what they get. They got Norwin and Soul Warden. Yep. Oh, yes, Blood Moon's on Sun Home, excuse me. Yep, 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 you're right. You are very right, sir. All right. All right, Stirrings finds me EE. -E. So I take this Engineered Explosives. And I just play the EE -E out for one, and then... Uh, just keep attacking. Because now they can't really do anything. And I'm gonna I'm gonna win this race eventually here. Yeah, so so you can do this. Let me see. Yeah, no, this comes in as a mountain now, right? Because of the Blood Moon rules. Oh, I shouldn't have played this. Because if I actually do blow the Blood Moon up, it just comes into play as a land. doesn't do anything. Yeah. Dude, the Salt Mine is back. Would you get double angel against Johnny? Yeah, and will if they want to if they want to race, we can race here. This is seven. I go to thirteen. They go to six. I go. So it's actually close. I mean, humans is a good deck, dude. It's the best deck in the format for a reason. Perforos. Wow. So I guess now is as good as time ever to pop this explosives. So I can hit, I can pop it, and then I can still play Blood Moon next or uh, Titan next turn if I hit it. Yeah. I get Titan or Hornet Queen. I'm not sure which is better. I get Titan, Hornet Queen, or Walking Ballista. One. Walking Ballista, one, two, three, four, five, six. Walking Ballista would be a three, three. Hornet Queen just attacks in the air. It's probably just Hornet Queen. Yeah. So let's attack and then pack for Hornet Queen. Oh, yeah, you can't because it's a green creature. You transmute for it. You transmute for that one. Yeah. Let's get the queen. Get Hornet Queen. All right. Dece. Oh, wait, wait. It's Perforos. It's their, it's their creatures. Whenever another creature... Oh, under your control. Okay, okay, okay. Woo. God, we're about to be... I think we're about to be 2-0 and with Amulet, baby. So my opponent can play Soul Warden... Play Norin. If they have another spell, I don't know. We might not be actual. We don't have won it yet. So there's Soul Warden. They gain a life. Or no, they deal two damage to me. Here's Norin. So we're not out of it yet. We just basically need to make it two turns without this Perforos 
going on. It has to be five. There's the Thraven Inspector. So my opponent, if my opponent storms off, they're probably actually going to beat me. Because they're just gaining a lot of life also. Oh, no. They get the clue. The Norn comes back. I had to figure out actually how to attack properly here. So if I attack with all of my guys here. Okay, so let's just go one, two. Yo, a walking blister off the top would be nice. Okay. So let's think. If I attack, block here, take three. If he casts a spell, then I die because the creature comes into play and this bounces. So I should leave back one more blocker. So if I attack with these three in the air, that's five damage. They go. It's five damage, they go to four. They gain two life, then. This means the Norn also has to attack. Yeah, so we should just be able to go like this. We should be able to go... Creatures you control get plus one, plus O. Oh. Okay, so... Let me think about that. Block, block. Block, block. Take three. If a creature comes into play, I die. So I think I've actually got to go... I need to hold back two blockers. So block this, block this, block here, yeah. Oh, it's attacks? Oh, no way. Oh, this thing's totally going to kill me. I haven't played against Nor in the Way in a long time. Oh, yeah, I'm super dead. Because this thing gains a life and deals me two damage every single time I attack. Oh, super dead. Oh, yeah. We're, we're gonna... Well, I can kill them next turn, which... Isn't, isn't likely now. Because... Unless they attack with everything and then don't have a spell to play. Then I've got a chance. But I'm at four, so I have to block two creatures. Alright, that's, that's good for the home team. Okay, that's also good. So like this blocks here, this blocks here, this blocks here. They attack with everything. Get the Norin off the, get the Soul Warden of the Norin off the battlefield. The Thraven Inspector comes through. Three of their creatures die. And then we attack for the win. I think I think that's how this is gonna this is gonna shake out here. Yeah, that's also good. Them cracking the clue is really good for us. Ooh, that puts it up to seven. So that probably means unless we naturally drew Rex Sage, we couldn't. So we need to do attack with one more creature last turn. Because this is two, four, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. And then they just attack and then it bounces and they kill us. So I need to do attack with one more creature last turn. But if I would have done that, I would have just died on the crack back here. If I'd attack with one more creature. Yeah, we're just gonna keep it the way it is. I think I think we're still alright. We might want spell pierce against Blood Moon. But I don't really know what else I would take out. Like this territory of Allosaurus actually seems kind of crappy. We'll bring in one spell pierce. We'll try this. See how this goes. Play some. See how this amulet action works out good for us. 
Then after this league, I'm going to take my dog out. And then when I take out the pup, then I'll come back, probably play some Storm. Or play some... Uh, play Vintage Cube. I don't really want to play Death Shadow anymore. I'm good for that. I'll play Death Shadow tomorrow. I'm going to be streaming the Modern Challenge tomorrow morning. So if you need some if you need some entertainment, then we'll go with it. Are you going to stream the Modern Challenge tomorrow, Johnny? You saying I gotta pick up an explosives? I should pick up an I should pick up an explosive anyways. It was, it's been good for me. No, you're not. Oh. I'm gonna grab another beer while this is waiting here. I don't know what that means, Johnny. You're just making you're making crazy statements. Which I play first? Yes, I would. Um, yeah, it sounds great. It might not be great, actually. It's probably not even that good. Find an amulet. It's probably even still not that good. I just kept it because it's got Ancient Stirrings and Explorer. Take this Growth Chamber. And then we'll go Radiant Fountain, Explore, play Growth Chamber next turn. Dude, Johnny, what are you what are you coming in here to my stream to talk about your bad beat stories with? We, we, we get it, dude. You're the most unlucky Magic player of all time. Johnny gets beat in the most spectacular ways. Oh, that's pretty good, too. Uh, Arc171, thanks for the follow. I appreciate it. So you're on a rip. I don't know what that means. Uh, let's get that sweetness. Always yield, bounce this. I wonder if my opponent's deck plays Sarah Ascendant. That makes sense. So now I can play Azusa, play Radiant Fountain. I can play Azusa, play Radiant Fountain, Teleri West. Brule Turf, and then land prime time next turn. God, Norway is such a weird card. Oh, there's Dash in this thing. That's cool. This Radiant Fountain's going to work them, though. Turn this, bring this back. Yeah, this is cool. This deck's cool. Th this thing's going to get huge. Okay. All right. So play this. Play this out here. I wonder if I can tighten this turn. Three mana. Play. Play Radiant Fountain. Gain a life, gain two life. Then I have two more land drops. I don't think I can Titan. Because I can make three land drops, so I can make eight mana. But to make that eight mana, I have to spend three of it on Azusa. So no Titan action. So let's, let's get Azusa into play. This champion is going to be like a 42-42 champion here. That's a problem for future Dylan now. Let's 
So let's. So I want to untap first. So first in, last out. So first in, untap. Okay. Always yield. Bounce this. Play this. So one, two, and then I'm done. Yeah. Then we get Titan into play next turn. We can attack with Titan. Though this champion might be bigger than my... Might get bigger than my Titan. So I might even be able to attack this thing. I can play Hornet Queen now. So Radiant Fountain's got me a casual six life, which is sweet. Need some more light in here. Okay, so they're going to pass my Azusa. Deal. Hopefully they attack with this. If they attack with this, I should be able to set up a shitload of Titans. Yeah, that's just how she goes sometimes. Okay, so they're going to crack me for six. I'm going to play a Titan. It's really cool how big this thing gets. Like in this deck, the synergy here. Like this is this is cool. Seems kind of low powered for modern, but I can see where you might be able to grind decks out doing this. These three matches have taken forever. I mean, I've used a lot of my clock too. <clears throat> yeah, so for my next league, after I take the pup out, I can either go play, wait for my opponent to resolve their triggers. I was either going to play Storm or Forest Storm in the Vintage Cube, one of the two. Not exactly sure what I want to do here. I haven't. I don't play Storm very much, but it is one of my one of the uh, more fun decks to play. What I want to know is if I can get two Titans in play this turn. Like, I don't think I can because I've got two, four, five, six, seven mana. Play Titan, get Bounce Land, Bounce Land. They untap, and then I have five mana. Transmute, yeah, there's no way. But I can set myself up. So I'm actually going to, so let's, I'm actually going to play this. You need another amulet? Okay. But we are going to do that whole attack thing. Get Slayer Stronghold. Get Boros Garrison. So, first in, last out. So, we put this in. Click on the land first. Okay. Always yield. They untap. And then probably just bounce 
gemstone cavern, whatever. I'm not sure. I'm not sure it super matters here. I'm sure it does, but I should have. I should have bounced the radiant fountain. That was a mistake. I'll do it with my next one. So here, I kind of want to get Simic Growth Chamber Vesuva so that I can bounce a land, pick up Transmute for Teleria West, and then Vesuva copy Boros Garrison so that I can get my other Titan Haste next turn and Vigilance, and then be able to go set up the Slayer's Stronghold. So let's get Simic Growth Chamber, and then let's get... Vesuva, Vesuva copies Boros Garrison, click on the lands first, they untap, oh I totally could have given this thing double strike I think, damn it, alright so let's pick up this, yeah I totally could have given this thing double strike I think. Yeah, super fucked up. Yeah, I messed up. I should have given a double strike. That's all right. You live and you learn. So let's transmute this. I could get the EE. Yeah, the EE seems like it's going to be small ball. Right, the EE is just weak. It just kills that. Yeah, I'm just going to summon respect. I've already played my land. Okay. Probably should have gotten an EE just to kill this champion. But I've already got... I'm going to have a Summoner's Pact. I'm going to be able to set up Summoner's Pact into Primeval Titan... Give it haste and then double strike whichever one he doesn't block. So unless he has a path to exile, I think my opponent's pretty dead. And one, two, three, four, two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven, twelve. There's a Sarah Ascendant. We're F6. I don't think I can generate enough mana to play... I might be able to generate 13 mana off the Primeval Titan. Yeah, I can generate 13 mana and do both. I might not be able to give it Vigilance. Yeah, so my opponent's tapped out of white here. So we're just going to jam now. And my opponent can crack me for however much they want. We're going to pack for another Titan. We're going to go get... We're going to play our Radiant Fountain to gain some life. So I can pack for Rex Sage just in case. Yes, I could, actually. You're right. But I think I'm going to kill them next turn. We're just going to get two Titans. And then swing in with... Okay. I'm still going to kill them, because I just go get two Titans. Right? Rather than double strike. Okay. So let me just think. So... I go get a Titan, give it first strike. My opponent gains a bunch of life. So. Alternatively, I can just go get a Titan, get a Teleria West. EE, -E, the champion of Parish. Yeah. That's what we're doing. Let's go get Primeval Titan. It is so cool how Primeval Titan just opens up like an endless an endless wave of stuff. So let's go get let's play this land. Let's tap this. We're just willy-nilly tapping here.
Always yield. Yes. So let's go get Talaria West and one, two. I guess we'll just go get Talaria West and Sunholm to have it. Tap on the lands first. These untap. Oh shit, I didn't get a bounce land. God damn it. I had to get a bounce land. That's okay. Two, four. That's actually all right. I can just attack, bounce this back to my hand. Yeah. This is still okay. I should have gotten a bounce land. Oh, cancel. What is going on here? Let's get the Slayer Stronghold on this thing. No, the Slayer Stronghold on this right here. They all look the same. Yeah, I needed to get a bounce land. I made a mistake. That was a mistake my for me to do that, so let's get, we're going to suicide one of our titans, but like whatever. We're just going to go get like two Simic Growth Chambers, I think. Bounce this, bounce this. We're get like two Simic Growth Chambers. Oh my god. So many triggers. Alright, bounce this. Bounce this. Now let me go get... Go get another Teleria West. And a Gruel Turf, probably. Yeah. I'll just return my forest to my hand. No, I shouldn't do that. That was such, that was a super punt in case they blood moon me. Oh no, that was so bad. They could moon me. Now I could lose, and now I should lose. Dude, Phil, I messed up. I messed up so bad. All right. So now they attack. Now we're now we're dead to a blood moon. So, hang on, let's, transmute, this is just like a mockery of mistakes here, transmute, go get the E. I can EE for three now to fix my mistake. But I didn't put a bounce land back to my hand. Oh, God, there's so much going on with this deck. So I can't bounce land this Terlaria West. Oh, my God. This is honestly, this is probably, like, the hardest thing I've ever, the deck I've ever played. I'm just going to play it for one. So X is one, done. Wait for this Norn to come back. And then blow up, blow this up, and then just hope they don't blood moon me. I totally deserve to lose this here. I messed this all up. And if they, they get a blood moon, they get a blood moon. There's so much sequencing going on here. I'm super positive. I'm having such a fun time. I'm dead to Blood Moon. Genesis Chamber? Okay, that doesn't do anything. 
Now we just kill him, right? We just double strike our Titan. I'm going to start returning some of my bounce lands to my hand, though. I'm sure now, at this point, I can just go, like, attack with Titan, bounce my Teleri West, go get a Walking Blista, and just smoke him. Okay, you get this. So they're at 11. They're just dead to this. Here. So let's just go 1, 2, 3, 2, 4, 6. Yeah, so let's just... Go here, give it double strike. Give our boy double strike, get in there for 16. They chump their board away. We bounce our Teleria West, and then we go get a walking list, and we finish off whatever they left. Holy shnikey. Yes. Always yield. Always yield. Now it's this. So they put their whole team in front because it's 16. 16 minus 5 is 11. They're still dead. Wow, that was like the most... I've never like messed up so much in a game and still won in my life. Three zero. We cashed the league with Amulet, though. Holy shnikes. Oh, 2-1. Oh, my God. We've only played two matches. That's all right. I really appreciate everybody that's hanging out watching this mockery here. Appreciate all the tips. It's, it's, it's definitely helped. Hopefully, we can pick it up and figure out and play quicker and figure out what's going on here, though. I would like to play first. I think this is a mulligan. Yeah. Though, if I hit a land off of this... Yeah, that seems greedy. I'm going to mull. Yeah, that seems much better. Keep this. Put a Titan. Um, put a Titan on top. Put a Titan on the bottom. Yeah, Titan kind of makes everything go. Why is it a snap keep, Johnny? Why is my one land ancient stirrings hand a snap keep? Okay, it gets me one land, but then what happens if I don't draw lands or draw like awkward lands off my whatever they are? Oh, I can't I can't I can't speak. Off my uh, explorers. All right, let's bounce this. We got Ot. So we have another. Com we have a combo deck. I would assume the combo decks are difficult for us. Glacial Fortress. Got a lot of blue decks going around here. Let's 
So I negate that, sure. We're going to cast Ancient Stirrings now, just to make sure I have a land for next turn. Maybe it's so good, but it's so bad right now. I feel like you have a better long game than controlled decks do, yeah. So I'm going to get the amulet, because the game's going to go long. I know I was looking for a land, but neither of those lands were very good. And Oh, shit, I should have played my amulet. That was so stupid. I kept thinking to myself, I don't want to expose it, but I just zoned out. That's all right. That is okay. See if I negate this. All right, let's. I assume this is going to get countered if they have it. They're going to counter this, and then I can ancient stirrings hit a bounce land, return this gemstone mine. Jeez, I didn't think that was going to happen. Oh, they were going to counterspell that. Uh, we already have a Primeval Titan, so I'm going to take... Oh, no. I thought it was a Stellite CS Sanctuary. I'm going to take the Slayers, the Teleria West. Put this in here, go like that. Just play it. It comes to play on tap, sure. We'll pass. Yeah, I didn't play that super, super well. God, my puppy is still asleep. He's been sick for the last couple days. He's had all the energy. I think he's starting to come down off of it now. But he just got some chicken and rice tonight for dinner. So slamming a Jace. All right, here we go. We're going to check out my top card. So I hit a land. I can play Titan. And then can't kill, can kill the Jace. So I need to hit a land. All right, that does it, right? So float, copy this, untaps. Copy this, tap this. So land, tap on the land first. Always yield. Oh, you're saying you might hit an amulet and win? Would another amulet have done that much for me? I'm a bit of, I'm a novice with this as, as we've seen from this stream. So one. I've already played my land, so now we're just gonna play the Titan. Yeah, and that's just I didn't know that. Like I think that comes from playing, right? So now I get Boros Garrison and Selesnia Sanctuary. Or no Boros Garrison and the Eye of the Titan. Boros Garrison and Slayer Stronghold. Click on the land first. We'll bring this back to our hand. Always yield. Get that Jace out of my face. Always yes. So, do I want to start the chain? If I want to start the chain, I think I want to get... I could just get two Simic Growth Chambers. Yeah, then we untap them. God, this deck's fucking sweet. Um, let's take this Vesuva back. And then let's get back the double strike land. Get that Jace out of my face. And then we will transmute for another pact. Summoner's Pact. All right.
Yeah, so I'll Ancient Stirrings before I do anything next turn in order to get that packed. So now my opponent just, like, can't win, right? Because if I ever, res like, the more, like, it's just like an endless chain of Titans. So what are you going to do? You're going to Teferi, like, bounce my Titan? Like, that doesn't do anything. Okay. All right, Mama. Here we go. Here we go, Nancy. Oh, I'm so excited, dude. Okay. So how do I do this? I packed... I'm obviously doing this. I'm getting a Primeval Titan. Um... I need to play this. No, I shouldn't have done that. That was a mistake. Well, no, it wasn't. One. Two. I think I fucked up. Because I need to find a way to get my Titan haste so I can kill this. Don't tap the double strike land. Tap Boros. All right, we'll go with it. So now I, I get Simic Growth Chamber and Transmute Teleria West. Get two different color lands to make red white. Oh, okay, all right, because I need to have my Titan. My Titan has to attack. Oh my god. Oh no, no, I should yield. No, shoot, I turned off my auto yields. No, turn off auto. Stop, stop, stop. No. No, shit. No, see, I, I had my yields on. That's so it doesn't get wild. So I need to just. Ah, this is so insane. Um, okay. This is unreal. Okay, sure. Okay, so now we're going to get two Teleria Wests, I think. Because I'm going to be able to bounce them with my Primeval Titans next turn. So let's just get two Teleria Wests. Now, I probably, I mean, I could have double striked it, but I think that doesn't make sense sending it at. I already made my land drop for the turn. All right. What a shit show. What an absolute shit show. Okay. Dude, how do you not forget Pax playing this deck? I would forget all of the Pax if I was playing this deck. There's so much shit going on. Okay, so how do I turn this off? Turn off auto yields. Okay, let's click the land first. Okay. Holy shit. Should have tapped it. Transmute. But now I can't hang on. Now I can't play no no no. Transmute with triple triple blue. Do 
go get Primeval Titan. Get, you get packed to just protect your Titan. I can buy that. Give Titan Double Strike. Oh, you can't play. Dude, uh, this is unreal. This deck is just wild. So now I'm going to go get more Simic Growth Chambers. And then probably... One more Teleria West. No, I don't have another Teleria West. I'm just going to get a Bajoka Bog. She'll bog my opponent. Click on the lands first. This doesn't matter because this is only a sorcery, right? Transmit only as a sorcery, so it doesn't matter. Okay. We have four million mana. Return a land, I control this one. Get bogged. I can't even transmute it because I don't have another blue source. Oh my god. Alright, um, did I play a land already? No. Alright, we'll pass. They're just going to take my Pact, right? So I might as well just pack this. Oh, this deck is so much fun. I have no idea what's going on. This deck is just so much fun to play. I'm sure that everybody that watches this video on YouTube or watches this on Twitch is going to be like, what a moron. What an absolute shit show this is. So my land for turn is going to be Vesuva because I'm going to copy this, transmute this, get a Titan, and haste the Titan. That's the game plan here. They start like crypticking me, I guess, for days, but like, whatever. I don't need to give my Titans double strike, so we're just gonna go. Um, let's not tap. I need two blue sources. So actually, it's just gonna copy this, the growth chamber. So let's play. Vesuva, copy growth chamber, click on the land first. Yeah, that's okay. I want to untap the land. I want to untap my land. Okay, great. I still didn't get to do it twice, but whatever. Um, I'm going to return the Bajoku Bog, I guess. Tap this, transmute to Laria West. Go get Prime Time. What is this? Well, that doesn't do it. We're just going to tap and draw. Almost gonna go get another pack to negation and another primeval titan. So just tap these. Get the titan in play. I have like a oh my god, this is just an absolute nightmare. Yes. 
Get growth chain with rural turf. Or just get a gemstone line, whatever. So many. This is just like, this is like moto hell. There's so many clicks. Okay, they finally concede. Holy shit. I've only got 13 minutes left. And I've finished just one game one. Okay, so control deck, spell pierce, uh, relic, get this out of here, um, get the ballistas, the EE, the EE is probably good because they're going to play rune halo to get protection. Um, probably don't need all these Azuzas, don't need to be like really explosive, probably kind of tribe scout too. All my land, the whatever it is, the dumb land. Uh, where's the one that gains life? That one can go. Radiant Flames, bring back in. Probably Azusa. All right, we're going to do it. This is unreal. This deck is sweet. This deck is fucking amazing. But everybody watching the stream is probably going to lose their minds. So they're going to see this video and they're be like, what the fuck is going on? Um, I don't think I can keep this hand. It's just bounce lands. This hand's not that good either. All right, keep it. Put on top. I need to play faster for this round. Dude, way to go, Johnny, man. It's been a tough... That's a, that's modern, though. I could have played... I should have played Gemstone Mine in the Colony Garden. It's playing too fast. Or Gemstone Mine and just secure a Tribe Scout. I'm, su I'm sure that as soon as you get the Tribe Scout going, this deck just gets way better. Here's a search. Okay. Now I gotta play fast. This is bullshit. I can't do this. There's Dampening Sphere? Okay. Whatever. Fuck Dampening Sphere. So, Azusa costs one more mana. So I'll just play this and then pass. Vial in a land for my untapped land at the end of the turn. I'd already have like a Titan if I think I think if I had played my tribe scout earlier. What a shit show. What an awesome shit show this is. I also could have played a bounce land, got another bounce land in, play land. I had a Titan. Yeah, I fucked up. Let's get this gruel turf in. This up. Oh, that's gas. Oh, they don't make any mana because of this. Okay, 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 okay. So play. Hope they have a counter spell. Gas. So now we just blow both these. We blow them both up right now to deny them a draw step. It makes sure they can't cryptic one back. I was like, why is my gruel turf not working?
I'm going to tuck my Summer's Pact into a Relic. Could be worse. Oh, they're going to entreat the Angels. Okay. I'm actually just going to put this into play in then F6. Pick up my Forest. All right. The clock is on. They can animate Colonnade, too. And if I, if I had played the right land that the tribes got to play, I'd have had a Titan down, I think. So. so I'm just going to draw a card. Larry West doesn't do anything. Draw another card. Oh, shoot. I will play this land, pick up my Gemstone Cavern with my Boros Garrison. That was probably another mistake that I just made. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, dude. There's so there's just so much going on. I don't think I can stop what's going on right now with my opponent anyways, because it's 412, it's 15 in the air. Yeah, we're just we're super dead. Even if even if I resolve a Titan, I can't 20 them. Yeah. Alright. Mistakes were made. Mold of five, but like I, I made some mistakes. So let's begin sideboarding. I kind of want another EE. That was the EE was really good there. Um, it's Colony Garden's probably bullshit against their deck. All right, we'll go like this. Rex Age is better than Relic. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That makes sense. Oh shoot, you're right. Okay, we like play first. Yeah, sorry, my wife was texting me. All right, we got an amulet. This hand's not very good besides the amulet, but we have an amulet, so I think I'm going to keep it. I'm going to hope this ancient stirrings finds us just goodness. All right, we found some goodness. Another amulet or a Slayer's Stronghold. I probably just get another amulet, even though it doesn't really do anything. And now we're just kind of like in a holding pattern. Like, if I find something to do here, I'm in good shape. Like a bounce land. If I, if I top deck a bounce land, I can play Titan. All right, that's not that's not bad. I should have waited until they had more spells to do that because it comes into play untapped no matter what. That was stupid. All right, there's the sphere. Get that into play. So, once again, if I find a land because of um, because of the Tribe Scout, we can play Titan. My opponent's got Cryptic Command up, though, so I'm in bad shape. Untap. OK, 
Okay. Return this land. One, two, three, four, five. One, three, four, five, six. And then we're going to have Pact of Negation to force through whatever we get. I need to make sure that I've got blue sources here. But I can put in a blue source. Oh, shoot. Oh, I can put this land on the battlefield. Oh, we're still good. Okay, nice, 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 nice. So the Titan comes down. I go get. I need to go get lands that fix my mana for blue. So I can get Teleria West and Simic Growth Chamber and then. Vile in the gemstone cavern, unless they have a ghost core that kills it. So I think I'm actually just going to get gemstone cavern and Teleria West. Just to make sure so I can pay for my Titan, pay for my pact. And then next turn we can go nuts. I get a Titan Double Strike, do a whole bunch of cool stuff. Teferi, bounce my Titan probably. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I guess I should have gotten a bounce line to bounce a Tolarian Academy to my hand for this reason. I'm going to play just another amulet and pass. Oh, man. I've just made so many mistakes through this game, these games, and I'm still in it, which just shows like how awesome this deck is. Fancy slow grindy decks. But I don't think I'm gonna win this one unless I draw a bounce land. I can go get a Titan, which is what I should have done. I was too worried about Pack. I was worried about him like ghost quartering one of my blue sources because this doesn't produce mana. So I got Teleria West and another Gemstone Mine, so that I would have three. That's an odd play. All right. Nice. So untap. Untap. No, bounce this. What are you doing? OK. Transmute. Blue, blue, pay one. I can still pack for the Titan because of all the mana floating. Summer's packed. Okay, they have the dispel. Okay, well, cancel. No, I don't have. I can't give this thing double strike. Okay, so now we're just gonna get in with this. Get in the the little guy beats. And pass. All right, there's their clock. They have the colonnade. All right, explorer's not bad.
Like we're just gonna attack with this thing, play another gemstone mine and pass. I can't really use my my gemstone mines are like my but those I don't have any more mana. So if I get another bounce line, I can actually start bouncing these mines and then start like activating my plus two plus seven vigilance cards. Now I can't even attack into this colonnade though. Just pass. I don't think I've timed out of a game of magic online in a long time, and it might actually happen this time. Stampeding Sphere is doing work. God, those two spell pierces are right on time. Oh, no. Okay, this thing's coming in. All right. The Colony Beats have begun. I feel like I definitely, I definitely lost this game somehow. All right, guess. Okay, green. And we'll just, I think we can sacrifice these lands and give them haste. Oh, man. oh no, we can spell pierce this. I can't make colored land, so colored mana out of my bounce land. So I might as well go like this. Then I'll get just some bounce lands and bounce these gemstone caverns to my hand, I think. Because I, I can't I can't do anything without the mana. I could just get a Vesuva and a Simic Growth Chamber. I'm gonna copy one of my bounce lands. Oh my god, there's so many triggers. Um, so I'm going to, okay, because like I can't do anything with my mana. Bounce this one. We got these, these amulet triggers are going to kill me. I swear to god. All these amulets. My opponent getting greedy with the colonnade attack into the cryptic command. I have no long no idea how long these this league is taking, but like oh my god. <laughs> this is just making my brain melt. All right. So I have to get a Teleri West and a Bounce Land. More than likely. All right, that is what is we were looking for. So let's go one. Let's make this black. No, let's go here. Just blow this uh, dampening sphere up. Um, let's cut off this and let's go like this. All right. 
And now we just give the Titan double strike and we just hope it works out, right? Tilt. And now I can give this, I can give this guy, can't give this guy double strike because it's going to, he's just going to get blocked by the colonnade. Oh, I'm going to time out. I haven't timed out in so long. There's a Jace. Yeah, that Jace is going to do it. Checks my top card out. Oh my gosh. This deck is exhausting to play. Put a card on the bottom. Okay. We'll attack Jays, because like we're not gonna kill our opponent with this thing. We're gonna look to like find a Titan. And hopefully get there. I should no. There's no point even. This game's probably just over. Put a card on top. Yeah, we're just gonna scoop it up here. We'll go to the next game match. Oh my god. The I'm not playing more than two amulets at a time ever again. Holy shit. That is just like, oh my god. That's unreal. Uh, playing my cell phone. Okay, let's jump back in. All right, I would like to play first. Ah, uh, yeah, this is this is what we signed up for. Turn one amulet, turn two growth chamber, explore, play a land. Yeah, sounds pretty great. Okay, so I can actually summer's packed for Azusa. Cast Azusa, Playland, Playland, Explore. Yeah. Click on the land first. Bounce this. Cast. Go get Azusa. Go one, two, explore, play land. Now we develop. The next turn, pay for my pact, and then likely cast the Titan. All right, I think we're going to be insane versus any Voice of Resurgence deck. We do have to worry about... Um, getting like ghost quartered out of something, but we should be pretty good here. Like next turn, go get Titan, give it haste. As long as my opponent doesn't have a ghost quarter here, they have a ghost quarter. Okay, so they're gonna ghost quarter. They're probably gonna ghost quarter my, oh wow, they played a knight, okay. I just need to make sure their knight doesn't 
one, two, three, four, five, six. Primeval Titan. Yes, go get Slayer's Stronghold, Boros Garrison. Okay, return to Laria West. Give Titan haste. Attack in. And then just go get a bunch of green sources. Probably just go get Simic Growth Chamber to Laria West. So what makes it a turn two? That, that would be a turn two kill. It's unreal. It's just so unreal. So now I get extra land drops, right? Because of Azusa. And now I just transmute. Well, I'm playing this like I actually know what I'm doing. Get some respect. So now I can play Titan through with Summoner's Pact as long as I leave Boros Garrison up. As long as I leave Slayer Stronghold up. And then attack with it. This is gas. Six men on turn two. Holy shit. So my opponent should probably ghost quarter my Simic, one of my growth chambers right now. Because I can go like one, two, three, four, pay, yeah. So I can go knight for another ghost quarter if they want to. So we're just going to pay with all of these this mana here. So now I just Summoner's Pact again. I should probably should have Stirrings. I should have Stirrings first. This was a mistake on my part. Good thing that I can do that right now. Well, no, because then I don't have any more mana. So let's get this, this. So with this one, I'm going to go get Vesuva. I'm going to get Vesuva in Slayer Stronghold. Or in the Sun Home. So let's go get Vesuva, Sun Home Fortress. Vesuva covers Boros Garrison. All right, we're going to get some kind of... They're going to ghost core to this. That's okay. That's all right. So now I will bounce Teleria West to my hand. Attack with Primeval Titan. Go get Teleria West, Simic Growth Chamber. Bounce Teleria West to my hand. Oh, I, I grabbed a Sanctuary, not a shoot. What a, what a tail. All right. 
grab the wrong land. I, I could have uh, I could have gotten a blue land and then at least transmuted this on this turn. So let's go like this. I'll um, just get Colony Garden to have a blocker. I don't think I played a land yet this turn. I guess if I had played none of those mistakes. If I played Teleria West, I could have uh, transmuted on this turn and just save me three mana next turn, which was a mistake. It's all right. We're going to – actually, these Titans are going to – these Knights are going to brick wall. Actually, no, no, no. So I'll just attack next turn, go get Bajoku Bog, and then Bog my opponent. Okay, we're good. We are good. This is all fine. Sure. All right, I'm just going to start by attacking my Titans. Oh, that's stupid. I should have done everything before. I'm so used to, like, waiting till after my main phase. Okay, so let's just go get Simic, Growth Chamber, or Radiant Flame. Radiant Fountain, excuse me. I will bounce. I'm just going to bounce my forests to my hand. And then this one gets a Bajoka Bog. And then Ghost Quarter for no real reason. Then we bog this, get in there, and we're good. Actually, I can just go like this, too. No, I should definitely do this before this resolves. Then I can just transmute for like a mega ballista if I feel so inclined. This means that one, if one of the knights activates, then it uh, it automatically gets smaller, and they they just lose a land basically. Well, I guess they don't, but because they just get it back. So now, like both knights have to block, and both knights have to sacrifice all their lands and go get ghost quarters, and like ghost quarter themselves. And then we just transmute, go get Ballista, and kill them. Probably could have started off with that line. Yeah, if I could have just transmuted, kill them with Ballista beforehand. If I would have known what was going on. But I just got so, like, set on getting them with, with this. Yeah, they're actually going to make their... <laughs> so this is just like a mockery of mistakes from me, but it does, it's just not going to matter. Which is, just shows like how amazing... I, I actually think I'm much higher on this deck after playing it a couple rounds here. Because like these knights can still kill my titans, but I'm just going to transmute, go get Bliss, and it does, like, I, I've messed up so much here that it just doesn't matter. Which is impressive. Was to five. I can kill your knights. I can kill you. All right. 
Um, against this deck, I probably want Dismember, Engineered Explosives, and maybe Relics. But I kind of just want to go fast. Maybe I don't even want Relics. Pack Negation I probably don't need. Cavern I don't need. I think I want to go like this. Hornet Queen's probably decent. Clogging up the board. Probably only need one Titan. Let one less Titan because they're not going to kill them all. Only oh, get this, get to the four one, then get the five zero. Oh. Then I'll take my dog out, come out, do a vintage cube. Hope everyone in the chat is at least having a good time watching me fimble, fimble through all this. I'm having a lot of fun. It is a bit difficult. It's a little outside of my wheelhouse. I'm more of a mid-range player. I like playing Death Shadow, another black-green deck. I like playing Fair decks. I'm actually going to run to the bathroom while my opponent figures this out. I'll be right back. Oh, they're back. I'm just going to finish the game then. Yeah, I'm gonna keep this hand. It's got a turn one amulet, and I think that's I think that's what we want against this deck. I assume my opponent does like quite a bit of sideboarding. Holy shit. So if I draw a Titan next turn, I can play it. Which is insane. So, let's play this. Oh, I bounced that. Oh, that's actually not bad. Azusa. So, let's go like this. What's going on? Is this the amulet bug? Is this the bug here? Like I, I should be able to do in this, right? Yeah, it's not letting me double bounce. Right? Am I am I crazy here? Yeah. See, it just did it. Okay. Yeah, so that, that's what you were talking about there, ARK. I couldn't double bounce. All right, well, I'll have to get a free league out of this. I wasn't yielding, right? Um, Get the Vesuva. <coughs> right? I wasn't... But if I was yielding to one am amulet, it would yield to the other amulet, right? And does does muff that up? I mean, I'd have so many more lands in play if that were the case. So let's play gemstone mine. See, like I'm not I'm not yielding to any of them. So I'm not yielding to anything. Click. And it did it that time. What's odd? It doesn't really matter. Like I would have ended up with the same thing, I guess.
Dude, I don't even want another amulet. It's all my primeval titans. I'm scared of another amulet. It doesn't really matter in the long run. So we get accompanied. Because I, I, I just never had a payoff. So it doesn't really matter how much mana I had when I had it. It, it just it doesn't super end up mattering in the long run. It could have mattered. So I have to hold this Vesuva. Because... Uh, I want to be able to, like, make a trillion mana. Ramen up Excavator. So my opponent finds a Ghost Quarter, I'm going to lose. Actually, no, I shouldn't have six. No, I should, because I can't do any of this Tribe Scout. Okay, there's the Knight. So the Knight's going to find Ghost Quarter, which isn't good for the home team. I need a Primeval Titan off the top. That is what we are looking for. Prime time packed. Explore's not bad. Okay, so what is this? Kicker's seven mana. Oh, so I can just fight the knight. Gas. Okay, so copy this. Okay, so now I go. Okay, untap. Okay, untap. Okay, untap. And then I bounce probably the Gruel Turf in order to make a million mana some other time. And then this costs seven. So cast with kicker. And then I smoke this night. That was a good draw. Oh, he's got the path. Got it. All right. Yeah, I don't really super care about all this. So now my opponent ghost quarters two of my lands. So I pretty much need a Titan this turn. They have a Worship on top. Okay, so that, that's good. I'm just bringing Rex Sage for the next game. This is literally my first league I've ever played with it, e Ezekiel. I have, I, have no, I have no really good opinions on this deck. It's cool. I've had a lot of fun. There's a lot going on. I've made I've made a million mistakes so far. So definitely siding in the Rex Age for the next game. Okay, we did it. So this has gotta enable some serious shenanigans. Oh my god. One, two, three. Cancel. Hang on. I don't really want to just let this gem stop. I'm just going to let this gem stop mine go. I'm not going to lose. Well, I might want a blue mana. So hang on. I can kill him this turn, which is incredible. Okay, so just chain titans, yeah.
And then I think I bounce this gemstone mine in case I need blue mana at some point. This more colored mana, I guess. Green is more important than red. Well, I should have kept the red mana because I can make that easy. So now I go get blue. I go get Simic Growth Chamber, Teleria. Yeah. Simic Growth Chamber. Oh, he can knight here, though. The problem is he, he's going to knight for a ghost quarter and get me. So I should have kept my bounce land in play. I made a mistake. Yep. Oh, wow. I made a mistake because now he can knight for a ghost quarter and kill my Teleria West. But if I would have kept a bounce land in my hand to activate off the Sakura Tribe Scout, that wouldn't have happened. He's going to let me do this. Oh, I missed out on a mana. Yeah, see, this is where I messed up. If I'd have made it so I could bounce this land, then I'd be okay. But now I'm now I'm dead. Or I'm not necessarily dead, but... I'll have to try and get my opponent next turn. But there might not be a next turn. With an E on top, block this, take, block, block, block. And they have a worship coming, and my Rex Sage is in my graveyard, right? Rex Sage is in my sideboard. Yeah, so now I'm actually just dead. Okay, so now we know against the knight to hold our bounce land to be able to protect. Okay, all right. And as we've seen, instead of floundering around, I'm just going to move to the next game here. Because they could attack through me and kill me there. So now I want another Primeval Titan. I don't think I need this Azusa. The Bliss is fine. I want my Rex Sage. I probably can ditch like a Radiant Fountain. I don't think the game's going to be about inches. Experience, best yeah. Yeah, I tossed. I just straight up tossed that. Which is good to know. It's always good when something happens in Magic and it's your fault. And you can just know, like, I could have been better. You know? Been live for four hours so far. It's been pretty great. Only have four follows, though. You guys are killing me. You guys are absolutely killing me. Um, I think I'm going to mulligan. I don't think his hand does enough. Like, Ancient Stirrings finds me Teleria West, Bounce, Play on the Land, Bounce, Transmute. That seems so slow. This hand's really bad. But I think I'm going to keep it because it's got potential. Scry like a Green Lamp, Scry a Forest to the top. Nice. So now I go, like, Forest on one. I, oh, no, on one. I probably play my forest next turn. Or I actually probably play my gruel turf, bounce it, then play Azusa. Then Azusa catches me up on mana. Okay. I think the Azusa's better getting the Azusa next turn is better than the Scout. Though I can just play the Scout, make mana but Yeah, so just make it's the same thing. It's not it's still on Grix's Shadow. Oh, 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 okay, instead it's current. Okay, it's updated. I just took it from a 5-0. I don't know anything about it besides besides that. I just took a list. This is a knight that's going to be kind of tough. Okay, Tyler Strike's fine. 
So one, two, put this into play, bounce this, play this, play Azusa, try to go nuts next turn, I think. I think that's what I was supposed to do. There's night. Okay. My window is slowing. Is like slowly getting is getting the door is closing here. But for an amulet or a bounce line, okay. Ghost quarter doesn't quite do it. Vesuva is a bounce land. So I have to take it. Any order. One. So play land. So hang on. One, two. I see here. Can I play the Titan? Two. Three. Make my land drop. Four. Pick up. Th make my land drop. Pick up this. Three. I don't think I can. I can't play the Titan though. Right? Am I crazy? Two, three. So I don't have an amulet. I have three, right? Four land drops. So if I, I have to figure out how to make, like, tap these, three, four, pick this up, but I can't bounce a land and create mana, right? So I'm definitely playing this. Four. Bounce. Play this. Bounce a land. Replay the land. Oh, I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. No, that doesn't even work. That doesn't even work, right? Because here's four. Play this land. Pick up this land. Play it as five, and then I'm out of lands. I can't just bounce these back and forth. That doesn't matter. Yeah, me too. So I'll just pass and hold the Vesuva to defend myself from the knight. And then get the Primeval Titan down next turn. Okay, there's the Hierarch. I'm going to get smacked by this tireless tracker. Hopefully the knight attacks. That would be gas. No, the knight didn't attack. Guy cracks a clue. Okay. I can't bounce this Vesuva in. I can't just play this Vesuva. Yeah. Because it'll just ghost quarter this in response to the activated ability. Or the copy. Okay, that's just that makes it two. That makes it easier. So let's go get Prime Eagle Titan. I don't want to. I'm not gonna be able to give it haste. Actually, I might be able to. No, I can't because I, I can't untap the lands. Okay, okay, okay. What is this? 
expect to pass. Am I get even mind sensor? Is that what's gonna happen here? Ghost courting themselves. Well, they're just looking to make their knight huge, I guess. Haven mind sensor. Okay. Mind sensor comes down. Nothing we can do about that. Oh, we got two lands though. Okay, so they're tapped. So if I just double ghost quarter my opponent's two lands, chump the knight. No, but then that comes into play tapped. Unless I bounce the ghost quarter, which I can do. Ghost quarter one of these, they can only hit one of my lands. So I have to kill this. Can't kill this thing though. Alright, we'll pass. Yeah, I don't know how to get the EE though. Because like I can't search my deck. This mind sensor was gas. At least this Vesuva can backdoor into um protecting one of my lands, but Yeah, the Aven Mind Sensor was pretty pretty rough. Pretty rough for the home team. Like 275 tickets. I get I get my cards through card hoarder though. So that's where you should go to check them out. It's like 250 bucks to build this deck. So he actually can't activate his knight. Yeah, not bad. So what should I do with this? I don't think I should do anything with this Vesuva. Okay, wait, wait, I think I fucked up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so I can still monstrous this. Attack in. Yeah, so I think that's what we're going to do. So let's cast with kicker. Yeah, I definitely should have viled in a Vesuva. God, I got to go back. Oh, God, I'm going to time out again. Green, 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 green. Hit this thing. Okay, attack with my Titan. And then I go block. Then I can just shrink their knight also. So let me go yes. I can get Teleria West plus the Jokabog. Okay, then I can vial this Vesuva in, bounce to my hand, go get another Titan next turn. All right. I only have three minutes left, though, so I'm going to have to move it. 
Got all timed out two games in a row. How much land do I have? So I definitely need to vial lands in next turn. I need to bring this in. Wow, they're gonna double they're gonna do this? I hope so. So bad. Oh, they're just gonna crack clues and trade, okay. I should have done that on my turn. I should have viled that in on my turn to protect the Teleria West because that's a Titan. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, I definitely should have done this on my turn. Again, I did it again. Didn't use their mana. Uh, excavator, okay. So now we just try this. This copies Gruel Turf. Gruel Turf bounces Teleria West. Teleria West goes and gets EE -E for. Whoa, can I get EE -E for three? And then blow up my opponent's board? Yeah. Transmute. Blue. Blue, one, hey, what's going on? We're about to time out here. I don't think I can kill him with Walking Ballista over because I need to get, but what we're going to do, we're going to go get Engineered Explosives play EE for three. Done. Blow this engineered explosives up. And then I can flash this colony heart expedition in for a blocker if I need it. I might be able to kill him over time, but it's going to take me. The problem here is I miscounted my mana, and I don't have enough to have this ballista. This is currently one. Actually, I should go cancel. I should attack with this guy. So we might be able to get the beats with our 5-5 five five in here. How's the West Coast living there? How's it, how's it going out there? Then this will get rid of, we'll hit this if they go to exalt it. If they go to exalt something else, then I'll just... Flash this in, this colony I got in, and block it. Oh, shit. Oh, no, I super messed up. Because now... Yeah. Oh, I messed up so bad. Oh, no. Yeah, I, I messed up. I punted this. This thing is so hard to play. Like, oh my god. I think I, I think I just threw away two good matchups. We'll get the last match here to be able to cash the league. That's the goal. And then I'll have to take my dog out for a bit. Ugh.
Maybe I should have just gotten Titan. Or just blistered through the moon. Yeah, I could have won that one for sure. I could have won my last two matches for sure. I think I'm actually going to... Um, I did. I got a new mic like for my birthday. It could be far away from me. That could be my issue. Um, let me play a match here. Philly, do you need to go out? Yeah, Philly's got to go out. I actually think I'm going to call it a stream here tonight, guys. I'm pretty tired. I will finish this last match, and then I'll get everything on YouTube. But I'll be back for the next match tomorrow. i got to take the dog out. He's not feeling super great. So, um, yeah, I appreciate everybody for showing up and hanging out tonight. I had fun playing Amulet. It's not necessarily my kind of deck, but it's fun to play. But I will see you all tomorrow. And I hope everyone has a good rest of their night. See you later, Elliot.